Man, man, oh man. The plot thickened. On August 27th, on the Colin Kyle Herds the Herd, the show asked Jackson, who played for the Raiders in 2021, a year before the team traded for Adams, mind you, about the topics and the context of the Devontae Adams story arc in the Netflix show Receiver. And he said this, I mean, you've got Gardner Minshew. That's actually been named starting quarterback this year. This year's going to be tough, Jackson said. This was tough because me and Devontae, we talk, man. I hate to do it. I don't want to be that guy. Oh, d said this, d said that. But at the end of the day, he ain't happy. Now, it looked like he was lying. It looked weird. I'm like, I've never known Deshaun Jackson and Devontae Adams to be that damn close. But I'm so glad that Devontae Adams came out and put this nonsense to bed. Today, listen right here. Three or four times in my life, and I never had a conversation with him ever. And I put that on my kids. I've never spoken to him about anything. The only person I really talk to about my feelings in general is my wife, probably. And she ain't out there leaking anything and dropping stuff like that. Either. So once again, whatever you see, if it ain't from the horse's mouth, it's probably bullshit. So I don't like that. I don't like when that happens because at the end of the day, I don't really care because it's, you know I don't. I live my life and I've gotten to where I've gotten in life in this game or whatever. Just I'm not really paying too much attention to what people say and not feeding into it, not even responding, which is why you haven't really seen me come out and say, oh, this ain't true, that ain't true. I don't even want to give it attention because it's already enough. And from the moment I was going out, it's all over everything. So I guess they got what they wanted this time. Whatever has been put out there lately is complete BS. I've never talked to Deshaun Jackson about one thing, so I don't know why. You know, I, I didn't see the interview, so I don't even want to say, I don't know if that is a real quote that came out or how that played out. But, in terms of me being upset or not being happy in this organization, it's just a bunch of BS that's just meant to throw everybody off and get, you know, clickbait. Everybody want to see what Devontae Adams got to say. And, you know, he's pissed off in New Vegas. If I was pissed off, I mean, I, I wouldn't be here right now. Like I said, back in my camp, I want to think somebody here might have been here. I don't, I don't do a lot of uh, extra stuff. And, and, you know, whatever you hear from my mouth is, is what you get. And I don't think that y'all stand in front of me getting the vibe that I want to leave this place. And if you do, then you just feed into the bullshit that they that they feed y'all out there. Well, Devontae Adams thing. You know, I, I am a guy who is 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 a bit over it, right? Like, you know, whatever's gonna happen, whatever's gonna be, it's gonna be, but I don't wanna talk about it. But the one thing that has been consistent throughout this whole thing this offseason is people and pundits from the media putting Devontae on another team, people making things up people saying he wants to get traded you know i know Devonte kind of brought a little of that 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 on himself with the documentary but that was in the moment it was last year the bad time during the season it was pre-ap and i and i get it jimmy garoppolo throwing worm burners and hospital balls i get it but at this point the man has been consistently telling you that he's going to stay with the Raiders, he's with the Raiders, he's not looking to get traded, right? So at this point, I think it's more likely that if the Raiders season doesn't go a certain way, that the Raiders would cut bait with Devontae Adams before he'd ask for a trade. It's looking that way to me. And also, listen, I think Devontae Adams has a certain amount of athletic arrogance. I, I, I think he feels like he's the best player on the planet at his position. I feels like he, he feels like he's a difference maker. And I think that he feels like if he's on the football field, he's going to will this team to win. And I, I love that. But but the thing that, that has kind of baffled me in all of this is why people in the media have to find some way to put Devontae Adams on another team. Like, why? What is it? Is, is it that the media don't like seeing the Raiders have nice things? Like, what is this What is this about? What What is it about all of these, these media punters, Mina Kimes, putting them on the Redskins or, or the, the Commanders? Excuse me. All of these people are coming out and saying things that Devontae Adams has never said. And, and, and make no mistake about it. Deshaun Jackson deserves to get eviscerated because... There's a difference between responsible journalism and gotcha hot take takes. And I think in sports media, 
there's an issue. We've gone for the player control media. And listen, I'm all for players telling a story. You get some great stories for some of these player podcasts. But if I'm being honest, these guys with sources that are unchecked just because they played in the league with a guy. You know, I don't think Deshaun Jackson was ever a team. You know, he was never a team with Devontae. I'm just looking three or four times. So why would Deshaun Jackson go on national television and say something like that? And why is Fox able to just run with this viral story and that that makes no absolute effing sense? We need to get away from this in the media today because, listen, man, going viral isn't cool if you're making shit up. And you could clearly see when Deshaun Jackson said that on the couch that at that very moment, it registered in his head that this is going to make me go viral. Let me just say this, whether it's true or not. And, and I hope Devontae continues to take him to task. Now, as it pertains to Devontae Adams and whether he's a Raider or whether they trade him in the end of the season, I, I, like to be to be real, let's, let's, let's roll the football out on the field on Sunday. Let's see how good this team is. Let's see how many games they win. And we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Other than that, Devontae Adams is a Raider. He wants to be a Raider from every, all intents and purposes of the word. And everybody in the media just needs to just sit back and let it happen. You know, like whatever happens, let it happen. Like stop trying to place this man on another damn team because he's clearly telling you at every turn that this is where he wants to be. Guys, listen, if you guys like what you heard, that like, hit that subscribe, man. Raider Nation Unlimited. I'm your man, Wasted Talent. I am out. And oh, we have a message for Deshaun Jackson. Hold on. It's coming. You heard it from Tay Adams himself. Hey, stop the cap, Deshaun Jackson. That's nasty work, bro. Nasty work, man. If y'all like what y'all hear, hit that subscribe, man. I'm out.